Hello my dear friends, welcome back. We were doing the chapter Rational and Irrational Numbers and we had completed practice set 1.2. In practice set 1.2 we compared two rational numbers. Now today again we will uh, do something new that is we will represent a rational number in decimal form. Till now we have seen rational numbers in numerator denominator form, fraction form. Today, that fraction, we will make it into a decimal form. And after solving the practice set, we will understand something. What is that one thing that we will discuss at the end of the practice set? Okay, so let's start. What is practice set 1.3? Write the following rational numbers in decimal form. And the first number is 9 upon 37. Let's start. So, I have copied the question 9 upon 37. We will do the division. You have to show the division in your book. Let's start. Division table. 9 will come here. Dividend. And the divisor is 37. Okay. Now 9 and 37. In the 37 doesn't go in 9 table. Okay. So we will take the number as it is. We will not reduce it. Now we have to find out 37 table. Right. As you can see, the first digit is 9. 9 is less than 37. So, we have to put a 0, 0 point and here we will put a 0. So, 90. 37 is stable beside in the working column. Then our things will move faster. Let us check. So, this is our working column. This part. Make separate column for working. Let us start. 37 twos are. We got... 7 2s are 14 carry 1, 6, 7, 74. 37 3s are will be a bigger number than 90. Ah, but still we will find out. 7 3s are 21 carry 2, 3 3s are 9, 11. Okay. So now we will take which number? We will take smaller number than 90. So it is 74. 37 2s are 74. Carefully do the subtraction. Now here this will become 10. This will become 8. 10 minus 4, 6. 8 minus 7, 1. Now you will put a 0. Okay, so we got another number. 160. Now again we have to find it in 37 stable. 37, let me try 4's. How will, how will you check in your mind? 4 3's are 12. Okay, so we are coming close. So let us see once. 7 4's are 28, carry 2. 4 3's are 12, 12 plus 2, 14. Okay, if you want you can try the next number also. 37 5's are, 7 5's are 35, carry 3. 5 3's are 15 plus 3, 18. So obviously it is a bigger number. So we will take 37 4's are 148. 37 4's are 148. Subtract 10 minus 8, 2. This will become 5, 5 minus 4, 1 and 1 minus 1, 0. Now again we will put a 0. Now we have the numbers here. 37, 3 is a triple 1, 111. We will take that. 3 is a 1, 1, 1. Subtract 10 minus 1, 9. 1 minus 1, 0, 0. Again you will put a 0. Correct now? No. Now 90. So once again we started with the first step. Uh, so, again you will, 90 we know, no? Which number? 2's are 74. 10 minus 4, 6. And this will be 8 minus 7, 1. See, we are again starting with the first step. So, this step, these digits will be repeated now. We reached 90, then we got 74, we got 16. Then you will put 0. Again you will put a 4's are 148. So, the digits will be repeated. When the digits are getting repeated, in the quotient, you can put dot, dot, dot. Means it, it is continued. It is not ending. It is recurring. When the digits are getting repeated, it is called as recurring. So, let us write down the answer down. Answer. What are we getting? 9 upon 37 equal to 0 0.2432 and so on. No? From 2... The digits are recurring. It will be 2, 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 2, 4, 3, 2. Like that. The digits are recurring from 2, 4, 3. 
So those three digits you will put a bar. By putting bar, what do you understand? You understood that the digits 2, 4 and 3 are repeated. Okay? So final answer, I will write this way. 9 upon 37 is equal to 0 0.243 bar. Put it in a box. So, so from this sum, what did you understand? You can represent a rational number in decimal form. With decimal form. And that decimal form is recurring form. Is this division going to end? The division is not going to end. You will keep on getting 2, 4, 3, 2, 2, 4, 3, 2. The digits will recur. Such recurring form of decimal form is called as non-terminating, means never ending, non-terminating recurring decimal form. 2 is 18 upon 42. 42 is a very bigger number. If possible, we will try to reduce the number. Reduce the number means we will check. Both these numbers goes in any table or what? 18 and 42. Just bring your table memory back. You should be thorough with all the tables. At least till 9. Okay? So, can you recall? 18 goes in 6 table. 42 also goes in 6 table. So, this number we can reduce it and make it as 6 3 is 18. 6 7 is 42. So, I got 3 upon 7. Otherwise, we will have to divide the whole 42. Means, we will have to divide by a bigger number. So, better we will reduce it. Now, 3 and 7, very easy numbers. Let us draw the division column. Division. 3 upon 7 means 3 will be the dividend. And 7 the divisor. Now, here we need not write the table because we all know 7's table very well. Okay. So, here 3 is less than 7. So, you will start with 0 point. Then you will put a 0 here. 4's are 28. 7 4's are 28. Now subtract carefully. This will be 10 minus 8, 2. Here 2 minus 2, 0. Now again you will put a 0. 7 2's are 14. Subtract. 10 minus 4 will be 6. 1 minus 1 will be 0. Again put a 0. Ah, it's a 56. Subtract 10 minus 6, 4. This will become. Huh. Now check huh, whether we have reached the same steps. Are we repeating the same steps? We have to check that. Now you will put a 0. Huh. Now 7, 5 is a 35. So 7, 5 is a 35. 10 minus 5, 5. 3 minus 3, 0. Then again you will put a 0. 7, 7's are 49. 10 minus 9 is 1. Put a 0. Ah, somewhere we had seen 10, no? Ah, now 7, 1's are 7. Put a 3 and 0. Now as you can see, we have again reached 30 from the first step. So you will again put 7, 4's are 28. Then again you will get a 30 minus 28, you will get 2. Then again the steps will be continued. So you can see here that again we are getting a recurring decimal form. What is that recurring decimal form? 0 0.428571. Again 428571 the digits will be recurring. And is it ending? Is it going to end? No. So this or we can write it as non-terminating. What is that form? 0 0.428571 and so on. Huh? So finally I will write it as our question we will write as it is 18 upon 42 is equal to 0 0.428571 till here it is recurring. No? Then, then again 428571 repeat. So till there it is recurring so we will put a bar till there. For the digits which is recurring, we will put a bar. Ah, so, this is called as non-terminating recurring decimal form. The third question is 9 upon 14. Let us try whether we can reduce it. 9 and 14, both the numbers doesn't go in 3 stable, right? So, it can't be reduced further. So, no other option. We will draw the division table. Start with me. 
division table, 9 dividend and 14 is the divisor. For your, for your comfort, you can write 14 table here and keep. Okay? Ah, so, let's start. 9 is smaller than 14. So, we'll have to start with 0 point. Put a 0 here. Now, 90. Let 14, 6. So, 6, 84. Ah, subtract. 10 minus 4 is 6. 8 minus 8 is 0. Again, ah, 0 here. Now, 60. So, 14 fours are 56. So, we can take that. Fours are 56. Be slow. So, that you get the answer correctly. Otherwise, we will have to redo. So, 10 minus 6 is 4. 5 minus 5 is 0. Again, you will put a 0. Now, 14 uh, we want. 14 threes are. 14 threes are. 4 threes are 12. Carry 1. 3 ones are 3. 4. So, this is a bigger number. So, we will go for 14 twos are. 28. Okay. Subtract. 10 minus 8, 2. This will be 3, no? 3 minus 2, 1. Again, put a 0. Now, 120. How much are? 8s are. So, 8s are 1, 1, 2. Subtract. 10 minus 2, 8. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Correct, no? My subtraction. Ha. Now, we will put a 0 here. Ha. So, 80. Which is the number less than 80? How much was Pfizer? 14 Pfizer. Let us try. 5 for the 20 carry 2. 5 and the 5, 70. 14 6 are 84. So 14 Pfizer we will take. 70. 14 Pfizer, 70. Subtract 10. We will put a 0. Now we are getting 100. So, which number should we select? 14, 7s are 98. 14, 7s are 98. 10 minus 8, 2. This 9 minus 9, 0. And this will also be 0. 20. Okay, as we can see that the digits are not getting repeated. So, 14, 2s are 28. So, we have to start with 1. 14, 1s are 14. 10 minus 4, 6. And 0, 60. Ah, now 60, I am looking up. I can see 60 here. So you will put which, how much, uh, 60 means which digit you will put? 4 are, no? 14 4 are 56. So you will put here 4. If I put 56, then I will get 40. Then again I will put 2 are. So I can see that 6 is not getting repeated, but I will give that. I got the quotient as 0 0.6428571428 and it will repeat 28571428578. So only one digit is not getting repeated which is that 6. After 6, 428571428571 these digits are getting repeat. How will I write the answer? 9 upon 14 is equal to. 0 0.6428571428 like that it is getting repeated. Now I will write it this way 0 0.6428571 then again 428571 so 6 is not getting repeated. So we will not put the bar above 6 we will put the bar after 4 till 1. 428571, 428571. These digits are repeated. So, we will put the bar after 4. Understood? Okay. So, this way you will write down the answer. Now, we have reached the last sum. The last question is minus 11 upon 30. Ah, let us start. 11 and 13. 13th table, we will write down and keep. First only, then it will be going smoothly. So, here 11, 11 is smaller than 13. So, we have to put a 0 point and a 0 here. Now, 110, search for a smaller number. 110, 104. How much are? 9, uh, 10, 9, 8. 8s are. So, 8s are, 13 8s are, 104. Subtract, 10 minus 4 is 6. This will be 0, 0, 0. Now we will put a 0. 60. So here this one, no? 52 we can take. That is 4s are. 13 4s are 52. 
again subtract 10 minus 2 is 8, 5 minus 5 0. 80, 80 means we will take 78, that is 6, 13, 6, 78, 10 minus 8, 2 and 7 minus 7, 0. So, 20, 20 means we will go for 1, 13, 10 minus 3, 7 and a 0. Now 70, so 65 again we will take 3, 4, 5. 5 is a 65. Hmm? 10 minus 5, 5 and a 0. 50, so which number we will take? 3 is a 39. Subtract. 10 minus 9 is 1. 4 minus 3 is 1 and a 0. 110. Okay, so we again reached 110 from the first step. So now you will put 8, you will get 104, then you will get 60, then you will put 4, 52. Like that it is getting repeated. That means after 3, the next number will be 8s and the digits are recurring. So dot 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 goes on and recurring. Let us write down now the final answer. Answer, minus 11 upon 13 is equal to, huh, what are the digits? 0 0.846153, then again 846153, so we will put a bar here to show that this decimal form is non-terminating recurring form. 0 0.846153, here we had a minus, so please put the Minus sign. Okay, don't forget that. Huh? Okay, so we have completed that practice set 1.3. What did we learn from practice set 1.3? That rational numbers can be represented in decimal form and that decimal form can be terminating. The division will end. So terminating or the decimal form will be non-terminating recurring decimal form. So rational numbers decimal form will be terminating or non-terminating recurring decimal form where the digits are getting repeated. This to today's practice at 1.3 that we solved. Solve more examples like that till we meet for the next time. Bye students.